We are going to make crackling cornbread. We're going to use these cracklings. What I have here is two cast iron skillets. I put some oil in the skillet, put it all around with my fingers. It's coated completely good. Good cast iron skillet that's got a good coating on it. Uh, Patina, uh, your food won't stick in it. Use your cast iron skillets. I have two of them prepared. They're going in an oven. 425 degrees because my oven's a little bit hot. You adjust your oven accordingly. The two cast iron skillets are in the oven. Uh, cracklings, I was too... What prompted this recipe? I was to a function in the park this weekend and they were rendering these cracklings. They were cooking them over an open fire in a large cast iron kettle. All cracklings are is little bits of fat meat when they're left over from killing the hog. You put them in the big old iron kettle and you cook, you render the fat out of them, the lard, and you save the lard and that's the grease that you use all winter long. Anyways, I'm going to make crackling cornbread. Now we're going to get this done. We're not going to be fooling along. For my two skillets, I can use a little bit more. You don't have to be a major nothing. Just put it in there. I am using some Martha White cornmeal mix, buttermilk. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. And I do like some, uh, I like them garlics over there. At, uh, it's, it's minced garlic. You get it over there at Walmart in the big jar like this. Uh, you can eat it on anything. But anyways, you just put ever how much of them garlics that you want in your in your cornbread. I put uh, two big old heaping spoonfuls in yonder. I'm just going to put a little salt in there. Not too much. Um, I am going to put some black pepper and I do like a lot of pepper in my cornbread. I'm not going to put any oil in there because I'm going to put these cracklings in there and the, when they get hot they'll render the lard out of the cracklings that's left in there. Seems like a lot but I'm making two pans of cornbread so I'm going to use this many. It's a little bit much but I like I like a lot of them. But anyway I'm just going to dump them off in there. It's a good idea when you're cooking to stir all of your dry ingredients together even if each time you put an ingredient in there if you stir it up you'll be well pleased more. Basil pesto I got it yonder to the store. It's a uh, Basil pesto. Oh, you can eat it on anything, bread or whatever. I like it in my cornbread. But anyway, you see about how much I got out yonder. I'm gonna put that in there. Well, if you like it, use it. If you don't, don't use it. It's one that you see, well, that's the way cooking is. If you like it, use it. If you don't. But anyway, you see what I put in there. It says to have, and the pans are in the oven preheating to 425 in my case which will be 450 and you bake this here about say 15 minutes and it'll be most delicious the pans are in the oven heating up they're almost heated so I can carry on this and I am going to show you the finished product it says about a cup and a half two cups of milk but ain't much need on this here measuring cups just get her done you you will like your food a lot better if you do just and if you get if you was to happen to get it too thin too much what too much milk in it all you gotta do is throw your handful of cornmeal in there now I'm gonna make this a little bit on the on the soupy side the wet side I'm gonna make it on on the count of I want the cornbread to stay in the oven a minute or so extra so that it will it helps the cracklings to cook more, I think. And this is a little bit, well, it's just right. Uh, you see, I, I didn't measure nothing. And it, it could be it could be a lot drier. It could be a lot more wetter. Anyways, I'm going to pour this in the pans, and we'll bake it. 
I got these two pans out of the oven. They're really, really hot. They preheated to about 425 degrees. So, anyways, I'm going to put I'm going to put half of this batter in one, and I'm going to put the other half in the other one. I'll tell you what, crackling cornbread is right up there uh, with the best. They're just actually none better. Uh, got it in the pan. I'm going to put it in the oven there for about 12 minutes. Okay, this is what it looks like when you bring them breads out of the oven. This is the cornbread that we just cooked up. I do not, I did not put an egg in the cornbread. I'm going to taste it. But, I tell you, I, didn't put no, I don't put no egg in. It's good. I don't like to cook with eggs in my cooking. Now, if I have the choice, I'll leave them out. Cornbread is hot. Can y'all see that? It's crackling cornbread. You see the little cracklings in there? You can let this set on a sideboard for a few minutes. It's hot. Let it cool down just a little bit. Get you a glass of milk. Crackling cornbread, a glass of milk, nothing better. Check back, man. Right, right here is the pan that I baked that cornbread in. And all I did is, is swap that out there with a paper towel. And that's good to go. That, that, that pan right there, that pan's good to go. And also the other one, they're still hot. Uh, swapped it out with a paper towel. Uh, my advice, don't be washing your cast iron cookware. I mean, use it. Uh, if you use it, uh, it's good to go. That's been another 450 degrees.